morning and welcome back to the channel. So um, I actually find myself back up in Scotland and on the Isle of Mull. Um, after my trip a few weeks ago where I was photographing and filming the otters, I kind of enjoyed it so much that I couldn't wait to get back here. So that's exactly what I've done. I think that my last trip was about four weeks ago um, and I'm already back. Um, I've spent the last three days photographing a dog otter. Um, today's video isn't going to be about otters, but um, I've had some really cool encounters, so I'll pop a couple of images from that up on the screen now. But today's video, um, well, see if you can guess. For today's video, I'm going to be photographing puffins, and uh, I can't wait for this one. It's been a while since I photographed these charismatic little birds, and um, I've really missed them actually. I didn't get to see them last year for obvious reasons. Um, and when I heard that there is an island up here in the Hebrides where you can get a little boat and go and find some, I kind of jumped at the opportunity. So that's exactly what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to drive across to the other side of this lock, jump on a little boat, make my way over to a small island called Lunga, and hopefully there'll be plenty of puffins to photograph. And I thought it'd be pretty cool if I could bring you guys with me too. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So the conditions today, I'd say they're almost almost perfect. I mean, there is a little bit of sun coming through the clouds, but it, but it's nice it's nice and thick clouds, so it's quite overcast. Um, so hopefully we'll get some nice soft light. Um, it is forecast to stay cloudy today, so I'm just hoping it doesn't become too too bright because I've had that before where I'm photographing puffins in the daytime and. Uh, it doesn't really work so well in bright sunlight so um yeah i'm kind of hoping it'll stay a little bit cloudy the other thing i kind of wanted to talk you guys through is the gear i'm going to be using today whilst i'm on the island i'm only taking with me one camera today obviously i'm going to bring the gopro to and um just a couple of lenses so i'll run you through exactly what it is i'm going to be using and this actually might be too much for the job to be honest but I'm going to take the Canon 500 f4 um, because I love it and to get those nice portrait images um, with the soft foreground and blurry background this is kind of like an ideal lens for that so I'm going to be taking this one with me of course and that's got the Canon 1DX Mark II um, so that's going to be the only camera that I'm shooting with today and then the other lenses that I'm going to be using my wide angle, so this is the 24 to 105, the Mark II version, for anybody interested in gear. Um, I've got an idea for what I want to do with this lens today, so that's why this one's coming in the bag. And finally, this one. This is the Canon uh, 50mm Prime. It's a great little lens, doesn't weigh anything. I think it's like a 1.8 aperture or something, so, uh, yeah, if, if you're going to get nice and close to the puffins, um, this can really help create some, some nice blurry backgrounds and really isolate your subject. So that's going to be coming because, well, why not? So that's it really. So wide angle lens, and I'll talk you through why I'm taking this when I get to the island. The Nifty 50, they call it, and the 500mm f4. So that's all I need today. That and some sandwiches, and, um, and I'm set to go midges so many midges i keep getting uh keep getting bitten but uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to now drive around to the other side of this lock jump on the boat um they've already spoke they've already told me that um we've got to wear face coverings and everything which is understandable on the boat so i won't do any filming on the boat um so the next time i speak to you will be when i'm on longer well i've arrived i'm here on the island and um well, what an incredible place this is. There are puffins everywhere. And not just puffins either. We've got guillemots, razorbills, shags. This is just awesome. I think some kitty wakes over there as well. Let me show you some of this. So I think what tends to happen um, when you come to these types of places 
especially when you've got like a limited um, amount of time to be here, is you end up kind of rushing around frantically trying to get as many images as you can, uh, as many birds as you can, and, and that's great, like there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. I've done that, I do that, but I think a good idea before you come to somewhere like this is to have a couple of images in mind of what you'd like to try and achieve um, from your trip. So that's exactly what I've done today. Um, I've come out on the book today with two images in mind. So the first one is I'd really love to get an image of a puffin in flight. I've, um, I've tried before and I've managed it, but it, it was pretty unsuccessful. It was quite difficult. Um, so I'd really like to try that again and see if I can nail a shot of a puffin in flight. And the second image um, is a wide angle image. So I'm gonna use my 24 to 105 mil lens and I'm going to try and sneak up without causing any stress um, on a puffin or a razor bill or a guillemot but ideally a puffin and see if I can get a wide angle shot of the puffin showing them in their environment I think that would be a really cool shot to have so um, they're the two shots I'm going to try and get from today so I will take other shots, some portraits um, I mean there's puffins so close they're everywhere so I will take some other shots but they're the two that I want to try and get first before I do anything else Otherwise you can get a little bit like a deer in the headlights and you kind of start rushing around and then I've done it where I've got back to the computer and thought I wish I'd just put a little bit of time and consideration into those images. But before I even try for those two shots, I think I'm just going to sit here and just watch the birds for a bit. I love the sound, I love the smell. So I think I'm just going to sit here and just enjoy that for a minute. I've got about four and a half hours so probably got time for a quick sandwich as well so I'm gonna sit here have some food take it all in and then crack on with trying to get those shots So, just talk you through what I'm trying to achieve at the moment. I've got the 
wide angle lens on. So it's the Canon 24 to 105 lens. And what I'm trying to do is get photos of the puffins pretty close in front of me with the rest of the land behind. Um, the reason for that is just because it gives a little bit more to the image. It tells a bit more of a story than just taking a wide angle shot of a puffin with the sea behind. So um, I'll show you the type of image that I'm trying to go for now. So what I want is the puffin to land on the edge of these rocks here and then hopefully I can get a shot of it with the rest of the island in the background. At least that's what we're trying to get anyway. Hang on, the puffin's moving so it might go into position. I'll talk to you in a second. I've got this puffin and it's about five foot away from me. Check this out, this is amazing. I just can't believe this puffin's still here. This is awesome, look, 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 look. Well, I don't even know where to start with that. That was fantastic. I, I was actually just sitting here, just looking at this view in front of me, and um, this puffin just kind of came up. It didn't like fly in, it was obviously below the ledge. Just came up, stood on the top of the ledge, and I thought, well, I'll give it a go. So I quickly switched from the 500 to the 24 to 105, crawled along the path, and it let me get so close. Um, and I managed to get some well, I'm, I'm really happy with them. They might not be the best images in the world, but I managed to get some wide angle images that I'm really, really chuffed with. So uh, that's one of the images that I really wanted to get today in the bag. The only thing now is I've got to try and get the images of a puffin in flight, and I know I'm going to be rubbish at that. So um, I'm going to head down to this point in front of me where I can see all the puffins flying over, and I give that a go. So it turns out these in-flight shots are a lot more difficult than I kind of imagined. I knew that I knew it would be hard. I know because I've struggled before trying to do it, but um, yeah, there's so many birds here, so many, and um, I just can't get one in focus. The closest I've come is when I'm, um, I basically start tracking one from a distance, and if it flies straight towards me, then I'm kind of almost there. But what most of them are doing is kind of coming towards me, and then they just, go off in random directions back into their little burrows. So um, yeah, just not predictable at all. And it's proven to be really quite challenging. Fun, but uh, definitely quite challenging. But I'm not gonna give up. I think I've got about an hour and a half left. So um, I'm gonna keep trying because I really wanna try and get this shot in the bag. Well, that's me done and uh, it's time for me to head back over to the Isle of Mull. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. 
I'll put all the images up that I got from today at the end of the video. Um, I know you've seen a couple already, but there's a few more to come, so stick around to see a couple of those. And um, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you are watching this and you haven't subscribed, if you wouldn't mind doing so, it does make a big difference. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head over to Mal and see if I can find some shorted owls. So I'll see you all on the next one.